Hello everyone. <coughs> now we have to discuss the analysis of star star connection. Means what? Star connected supply system, star connected load system. So I am here I am considering a numerical problem with respect to that numerical only I will explain the complete analysis. Okay. This is the problem. A three phase four wire 400 volts line to line system supplied a balanced star connected load having imprints of 10 at an angle minus 30 ohms in each phase. So here the supply star connector supply and the load is what star connected load okay provided per phase imprints is what 10 at an angle minus 30. First we have to draw that complete diagram. Right? Or let us say this is okay, like that. The load system also. Okay, this is the load from this <coughs> there is a connection from R to R like that from Y to Y like that from B to B right this is R we all know that this is Y, this is R, Y, T. The load is balanced. Given that load is balanced, therefore, let us say this is N, this is small n. There is a neutral point, right? Next, line current is IR. The line current is IY. Here, the line current is what? IB. That's it. Yeah, what is the value of impedance given that? 10 at an angle minus 30 yeah that's it okay this is for example v at an angle 0 minus 120 this is minus 2 completed right that's it this is the complete connection diagram of star star okay star connected supply system and star connected load <coughs> given load is balanced right therefore what about neutral current obviously therefore i n should be equal to 0 therefore neutral current is 0 means see three phase four way system means what we have three phases and this is the extra wire that is st for star connection only we are having extra wire right that is neutral but given that the load is balanced obviously there is no neutral current obviously from end to end there is no potential difference right there is no potential difference that is that is both neutral points are at same potential right therefore there is no neutral shift that is it right then before that yeah in star connection we all know that what is the relation between voltage and current here we are doing the analysis means what we are going to get the all quantities 
line voltages phase voltages and phase currents line currents that's it okay you all know that in star connection V L which is equals to what root three, V phase, and I L which is equals to I phase. That's it, right? So first, with respect to load, we are doing the analysis. Or we can say, with respect to load only, we can able to tell whether the system is balanced or not. Here. Given that the impedances per phase is what 10 at an angle minus 30 for each and every phase, okay. therefore the angle is same, right? 515253. Let us say both are uh, both quantities from R and Y are equal like that between R and Y, both quantities are equal like that B and R 10 at an angle minus 30, 10 at an angle, 10 at an angle minus 30. So if we consider both the phases, if we consider any phases, obviously the uh, impedance per phase is same right next <coughs> you all know that in star connection rv l equals to root 3 v phase and i l equals to i phase so now we have to start the analysis from phase voltages because we have taken that phase voltages as difference right first phase voltages phase voltages so given what is the line voltage given line to line voltage which is equals to what 400 volts that is line voltage which is equals to what vl therefore v phase which is equals to what 400 by root 3 which is equals to 231 volts so v phase is what 231 volts right vl is 400 volts v phase is what 231 volts given impedance per phase which is what 10 at an angle minus 30 ohms therefore okay we will getting the currents later first phase voltages right therefore phase voltages <coughs> vr is nothing but phase voltage right that is v phase at an angle zero which is equals to what vr at an angle zero which is equals to what is the value 231 at an angle zero volts right that's it like that what about v y which is equals to what 231 at an angle minus 120 volts like that what about v b which is equals to 231 at an angle minus 240 or we can say 231 at an angle plus 120 right in this also we can say 231 at an angle plus 240 right That's it. Phase voltage completed. Then line voltages. We know that what is the value of line voltage given that 400. That is root 3 into V phase, right? That is VR wise, right? VR wise is nothing but VR by at an angle before that we have to write one point right that is always line voltage V line leads V phase by 30 degrees this is the point right therefore VR by is what plus 30 degrees right which is equals to what 400 at an angle plus 30 means what it is root 3 times of V phase into 231 that is plus 30 volts 
like that v by b is what v y b which is nothing but <coughs> minus 120 plus 30 that is minus 90 degrees which is equals to 400 minus 90 volts like that v b r which is equals to 400 at an angle minus 240 plus 30 minus 210 volts that's it or you can say 400 at an angle 150 the total sum you see the total summation of this should be 360 degrees here minus 210 then we can write it as plus 150 right that's it phase voltage is completed line voltage is completed these are nothing but phase voltages are nothing but line then we have to calculate line current and phase currents we all know that in star connection because at supply side the connection is star at load side the connection is star then there is no problem in star correction what about the currents phase current should be equal to line current so now we have to get the values of phase currents which are equals to line currents right then what about phase current i phase is what which is equals to v phase by impedance is always taken per phase only v phase is what 231 at an angle forget about the angle just later we will write that impedance is taken as what 10 at an angle minus 30 which is equals to what 23.1 plus 30 the current is what 23.1 plus 30 therefore the current through phase r that is ir right which is equals to 23.1 plus 30 amps like that what about i y 23.1 minus 90 right like that what about the phase current in b phase that is 23.1 minus 210 amperes or 23.1 plus 150 amperes that's it we have completed we all know that this phase current should be equal to line currents only there is no need of providing line currents because both are equal so we have completed see phase voltage is completed line voltage is completed then we have completed phase currents also then we have to deal with phase R diagram. This is very important part in this analysis. See, by seeing the connection, what we have observed, there is no neutral shift, but after taking what calculations of uh, currents, the current is what plus 30 means what current leads right impedance is given as minus 30 obviously to, to get the current v by z phase it should be plus 30 c here we have plus 30 so current leads voltage by v phase voltage by 30 degrees so here the power factor is what leading power factor okay You can write that point I phase leads V phase by 30 degrees, or you can write from the calculations I phase leads. 
rephase by 30 degrees that is power factor is leading power factor right then we have to draw phasor diagrams always you have to take vr as reference this is vr this is what v by this is what v b completed next what about phase voltage completed next phase current which is leads phase voltage by 30 degrees right 30 degrees this is 90 45 this is 30 degrees let us say this is ir like that this is iy this is what i b completed phase voltage completed phase current completed next which is nothing but line current also so we have completed phase voltage line current phase current we are pending with what line voltage that is what v r y that is v r minus v y right we will get obviously we know that v r y always to get clear idea here i am providing only one phase only this is v y okay therefore this is what projection like this right therefore from this this is what line voltage right therefore this is phase current which is equal to line current this is line voltage we all know that this line voltage always leads phase voltage by 30 degrees what is this angle this is 30 degrees right so finally what we have that is this is vr this is ir this is vry that's it right therefore the angle is what 30 degrees only Thirty degrees. We got like this, right? The phasor diagram is like this. So we know that if the load is leading load means power factor is leading at that case what is the phase angle between then the phase angle between line voltage and line current that is Thirty minus five, right? Thirty minus five. That is the phase angle between V line and I line, which is equal to what? Thirty minus five, which is equal to what is the phase angle here? Phase angle means what? The angle between I R and V R, right?
where phi is equals to 30 degrees that is angle between IR and VR that's it therefore the angle between V line and I line which is equals to what 30 minus 30 which is equals to what 0 degrees right see IR is what line voltage or line current which is nothing but phase current VR is nothing but line voltage so in the, from this problem we can conclude that the line current is always in phase with line voltage because phi is equal to 30 degrees that's why this is in phase with line voltage now we have clear idea we all know that the angle between line voltage and line current is 30 minus phi then here ir is in phase with vry if for example phi is equal to 0 degrees what is the angle between vry and i line obviously it is 30 degrees right this is the complete analysis of star connected supply and star connected load okay